Trying to heal Velvet. Why is she losing so much health right now? Was that something from her Therionizing? Like, her health was just tanking and there was like one left. Eleanor leveled up, that's good. Idea if this is the right way or not. We will need to be extremely wary. When Velvet is theory nice, she loses HP, but she can't die. Yeah, but uh, when she's therionized, is she immune to healing? Better watch your step. First Not even worth my time. Hold R with three or more souls during divide pain to activate. This ability extends duration of divide pain for four six for status heals when any surrounding. Maybe, maybe Shugo, you're supposed to know everything. Venomization, right? The dark ritual of making demons feed on each other to birth stronger ones. Aizen, how many demons does the ritual require? It's more a matter of quality than quantity. Stronger demons mean more powerful malevolence. The ritual mixes the victor's malevolence with that of the devoured, creating a terrible, bloodthirsty mon- Wait, doesn't that describe Velvet? Because she was eating demons in here for years. Monster. You see, the newfound power comes at a great cost. With it, the victor's last vestiges of self-control are stripped away. So it's something even more than a monster. A seething ball of pure power and malevolence. Rogue oh. don't tell me you're considering it for yourself. Of course I am. I'll consider anything that can make me stronger. You cannot be serious! What's there to be so surprised about? Well, look at Velvet. She's already eaten countless demons. You're ridiculous! He's right. If it helps me find my vengeance, I don't care. Velvet? Wait, are you really going to do it? Relax, it's not gonna happen. Becoming a monster wouldn't bother me. But when I defeat my rival, I have to be myself for it to mean anything. It's the same for Velvet. It is? Besides, if I kill a previous victor of the ritual, I'll have proved myself strong enough not to need the extra power. You're ridiculous. I didn't like Eleanor's smile. Oh, hey, headless dude. Looks like Kuragane. Hello. The headless knight. He must be the product of the venomization. Well, he definitely looks vicious enough. <laughs> Not as vicious as our velvet, though. Where's his voice even coming from? I don't know. Look inside. Yeah, it looks like that heal, these heals are not hitting her when she's at 1 HP sometimes. She just swapped with, um... What's his butt? I mean, I guess that's fine. Cause she she's like healing now, right? Let's go. 
I mean, this fight's great for Laffy, though. He's just sitting back here. Pew, 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 pew. Well, easy. That takes care of that. Yeah. Oh, that's her prison down there. I feel something again. Oh. More no, another Earth Pulse point. It must be on this island. I sense it too. It's very close. Directly underneath us, I would guess. So when she she was a Therian imprisoned on an Earth Pulse point all that time and she didn't know it. What is this place? Welcome to the most secure cell in the entire complex. The darkest hole in Titania. Feel anything, Lafayette? Yeah. I think this is the Earth Pulse Point. You're looking at a compass. If this cell is where the Earth Pulse Point is, then does that mean it housed Etherian? Yeah. And a real hungry one at that. Every day, they would toss demons into its cell. It would devour its fill, then wipe the blood from its lips. Never once realizing it was delivering to Enominot the malevolence of hundreds of demons and prisoners. And then one day, there appeared before it a female Moloch, who shattered the barrier and freed the Therian from its cage. But the Therian knew no mercy, and it devoured its liberator. And it was then. It was then I obtained the power. The power to avenge my brother. Gasp. It was you all Velvet. along. Velvet. You're a Therian? What are you talking about? This was clear like ages this ago. This prison island was a feeding ground for the Therian. Harnessing the malevolence created by the prisoners within. But because she Velvet literally escaped, therianizes the malevolence went out of control wow the same darn thing that happened back in kamawana's village lord artorius would never have done such a thing oh, shut up no. what's so unbelievable that he used his wife's brother as a human sacrifice that he imprisoned his wife's sister because that's what your damned holy shepherd did! All to get his hands on Enominot's power! I'm sure he... he had a reason for... A reason?! To spare the world of its pain! Don't give me that! Who will spare my brother's pain? Who will soothe my brother's despair?! He murdered my little brother Luffy! Then you'll stand there and tell me it was for the greater good?! <laughs> At any rate, that's one less Therian for us to track down. Velvet. Help! Eleanor! Oh my god, it's the chain smoker. Come on. What? Did Velvet yell at you so hard you're starting to hear voices now? I have a feeling something's wrong. Kamoana could be in danger. But we already beat the Headless Knight. I still can't shake this feeling. Please, let's go back and check on them. It's good that they installed a ladder in my uh, cell. Cause I was I uh, would have had trouble getting out of there. He's gonna leave the prince here with the monsters. Oh, no, I think they want to secure the island and then use it as a base of operations. I don't think they want to just like, you know, it, hey monsters, here's so, a prince. Velvet is a Therian, is she? 
I knew there was something. Yo, am I crazy? Did she, didn't she say long ago, like when they're like, what kind of monster are you? Or what kind of demon are you? And she's like, oh, I'm a Therian. And the other guy's like, oh, I'm a sword guy. Like, but they're like, oh, I've never heard of a Therian. What's that? And she's like, oh, I can take monsters powers and use it against them. I just know I was called that. Like, yeah, they didn't know what a Therian was until recently, but it was like already said multiple times in the story she was a Therian. So it's kind of like surprising me that they're surprised. Off about her, but it's what she cried out that's really on my mind. Laffy said, is Velvet truly Lord Artorius's younger sister? She never told me. If it were true, I suppose it would explain her knowledge of Lord Artorius's training. If you're so curious, why not ask her yourself? Hey, Velvet, what's your connection to Artorius? Uh, Rokuro, have some tact! I heard you whispering. It doesn't bother me. Artorius was married to my late sister, Celica. He was our brother-in-law. We lived together for more than ten years. That does explain a few things. So he sacrificed his little brother and turned his sister into a Therian. But... you were his family. To his view of the grand scheme, family is inconsequential. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. All he did was act according to his ideal logic. <sighs> well, enough chit-chat. Let's get moving. I'm wondering if they'll go into more detail of her transformation. Because, like, I get it's like, okay, she was overflowing with malevolence because she saw her brother die right in front of her. And then somehow, in the, over the course of that, she changed into Aetherian. But is it just that? Get someone mad enough and, you know, poof? Or is there more to it? Not asking for spoilers, by the way. I'm just, like, it's so thinking it out loud. Out that Velvet is a Therian who consumes malevolence. And too much malevolence is what changes people into demons. Strong enough malevolence can persist after the person who created it dies, turning their corpse or spirit into a raging monster. That's how undead and phantom demons come about. Then the demons Velvet killed turned back into humans because she devoured their malevolence. Yeah, and consequently... They avoided becoming undead, or anything like that. So she saved them. Well, I mean, a corpse is a corpse, of course, of course. Hmm. Do you think she could devour only the malevolence and turn a living demon human again? Unfortunately, that's impossible due to malevolence's self-reinforcing nature. When Therians are connected to Enominot through an Earth Pulse point, they seem to be able to absorb small concentrations of malevolence from the surrounding area and inhibit the creation of new demons. But any human who builds up enough malevolence to turn into a demon will keep producing malevolence as long as they live. That's right. To devour any malevolence, I need to cut it off at the source. That's how my powers work. Velvet, I'm sorry. I don't mind it. Actually, I find it convenient. This way, I'll never forget my hatred for Artorius. Plus, as long as you stay away from an Earth Pulse point, you get to keep the power of any malevolence you consume. Fuel for my hatred. Yes. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> so edgy. <laughs> Fuel for my hatred. I wonder if that means, like, if she's traveling with humans, if she draws in all the malevolence, does she keep people around her, like, safe from turning into demons? Hey, turtle. This way. Ah! ah. Just come on. Uh. Come on. Uh. Eleanor. You really came back for me. A promise is a promise, sweetheart. A headless knight and a horse. Demon. On a headless horse. It's giving off a ton of malevolence. Um, nom, 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 this nom, must nom, be nom. the true survivor of the venomization process. Oh. Go get it, Camoana. We believe in you. The exorcist lady wasn't saying headless knight is back. She was going for headless knight on horseback. Whatever the case. 
We'll fight whoever we have to to claim this island. Magilu just made a pun about something a corpse said. Whoa! Did he say floating black quagmire? There is no escape. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of lines. No, my spine. I need that. Yo, Eleanor's getting slapped. did not mean to move in into the line of fire like that. I, I actually don't know what she says there. Wounds that won't heal, carved into flesh, leaf of pain? I've never caught what she says there, and I've been too afraid to ask until now. Bring the pain? Lethal pain? Chocolate smash! Uh, Aizen, you're just like standing around. Get your script together, Aizen. Oh! That was dumb! How do I- oh, I can't swap characters because Laffy set passed out and didn't have any juice. Wait, what? How do I use a revive on him? Oh, I figured it out. That was my first time using a life bottle. Dude, Aizen's just standing there! Aizen, come on! I'm swapping Aizen out. He's dead weight. I don't know what he's up to right now. Oh, 
Come on, he's like one hit point. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, he was like sitting at 1% health for so long. <laughs> Imagine That's if it landed on the kid. All right. Definitely stronger than that headless lump of armor. I beg your pardon? Not you. <laughs> what? The demon from the villa? No, look! It's absorbing the malevolence! It's Etherian! Actually, that hawk is Griffin. My one and only friend. <laughs> A damned Therian. So that's what Tabitha meant when she said we'd find out shortly. That was the little birdie out on his shoulder? Why do you have a Therian? It's like I said. Griffin has been my dear friend ever since I was a child. Even if he's a Therian now, that hasn't changed. So you knew you were helping a Therian escape. What are you plotting? <sighs> I have no plots or schemes. I just want Griffin to be free. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. The crown prince and future king, he's gonna do whatever he likes. <laughs> I suppose I am at that. But if I am, it's the first time I've ever been allowed a choice of my own. When you're a prince, you're not a person. You're an institution, one designed to serve the state and its people. Say, for instance, you are doing your law studies and your back suddenly itches. What do you do? I mean, I'd scratch it. Who wouldn't? When I did that, my tutor gave me a whipping so hard the blood ran down my back. The reason being that I prioritized a personal feeling, that is to say my itch, over my studies in service of the state. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Seeing Griffin lay claim to the skies, let me imagine my own freedom. That's a bit intense. It was my lone solace over the years. But then, he turned out to be responsive to Inominat's power. I take it the Midgand royal family is well aware that the Abbey is creating Therians? Of course. How could we not? The kingdom offers unequivocal support to Shepherd Artorius's vision of reason and will. Even so, if there was one thing I could never permit, it was seeing Griffin locked up and unable to fly. Never. I tricked the exorcist on guard and disabled the barrier. But then Griffin attacked the exorcist and killed him. That's why you said you could never go back. Eh, they can overlook a single dead exorcist. But with Etherian removed, malevolence will engulf the capital. <sighs> I knew full well what I was doing, and yet, I couldn't watch my friend's life be stripped away. Your Highness. He chose a single bird over the world. Why do you think that birds fly? Uh, that's what Lord Artorius asked me. My anatomy book says birds can fly because their bones are light and their wing muscles are enormously strong. Birds fly because a bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. That's what I think. I understand now. As long as you remain on this island, you may do as you please. But if you try to escape, I'll kill you. That should work. This way we'll have him on hand if we ever need a hostage. <laughs> Just right in front of him, Understood. say this. I appreciate you letting Griffin and me stay here. 
Well, now that that's taken care of, let's build ourselves a hideout. All right, Moggy Lou, magic us up a hideout. We don't want to do heavy lifting. Hey, Velvet, do you know where Eleanor is? Wasn't she just playing with you? Yeah, but then she left. I'm worried because she looked pretty sad. Can you go find her? Why me? Mm. Oh my god. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> Just do it. Okay. Oh lord. Noises that voice actor makes. Hey Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. Get drunk. Just try not to go <laughs> overboard. But, man, are we a bunch of screw-ups or what? I mean, we've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. <laughs> Broke out of prison, flattened Hellenes, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, how many infractions do you think we're on the hook for? Pardon me if I don't stop and count. If you don't like it... Nobody's forcing you to tag along. No. I still haven't repaid my debt to you. You say no. that, but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa. To me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but I can tell you if you... I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19. <laughs> All that law breaking, she's like, no, I'm underage. Can't drink. Uh, is this game to be serious? Uh, Shy, the the last session we played, where um, what's her what's her name? Um, uh, Kawama Kawahiki, the, the the little demon girl, where uh, Eleanor killed her mom. Uh, Shugo Shugo cried there, and he he was like, "I'll oh, prepare to cry. You're gonna cry in this session," and it was. Heavy, but I just felt like it was predictable. Huh. So it, it didn't hit me as hard as Shugo. What do you make of this part here then? Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney Kyle, then it'd mean midriff, which probably isn't right. Maybe Muse Mila? Well, that would make this passage read Porges are nummy. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's not right either. <laughs> What's wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to watch her. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. Hey, you got any idea where Eleanor is? No. Sorry. You got any idea why you were slacking in the last battle? With Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose. And who better to do that than you? So this Shake, works for Shake. both of us then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to bring him down. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm, no matter how choppy the seas. Where angels fear to tread, as they say. <laughs> Probably some of that as well. I don't know if it's a voice sounding there or something, but is this like game feeling one of those comedies which you're into experience like the inverse and have a laugh? Um, I mean some of it. Like there's definitely some parts that make me that make me cringe really hard, but there's other parts like I enjoy the storytelling. Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone 